Welcome, Lau, to uh, Eindhoven today. I'm very happy to uh, have you over here. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. We've really enjoyed the uh, OBUG event um, today. Yes. Yeah, and the keynote uh, was uh, was uh, amazing with uh, with a lot of stuff about the Internet of Things. And what you what you see is that uh, social, mobile, uh, and the Internet of Things is yeah a lot of possibilities for organizations. And uh, uh, yeah, w what can uh, JD Edwards uh, offer them? Yes, yeah, so it's a great question. Um, you know, we live in a time of some incredible uh, technological discontinuities that are creating opportunities uh, and opportunities for our customers. And of course, we want to make those a part of JD Edwards to help our customers transform their business. So we've invested greatly, uh, obviously, in um, the user paradigm, the user experience paradigm, um, but also mobility plays a big piece of that. So making sure that JD Edwards um, can extend its capabilities to the point of process mm -hmm. um, through various mobile devices, including pad and smartphone. Uh, but also in delivering specific mobile applications. Uh, we've delivered over 80 of them um, today. And then giving our customers the ability to extend those applications um, through the platform. So the ability to combine them in unique ways, extend them, or frankly, to build their own. Um, the other thing that we're doing is a lot in Internet of Things. You mentioned that. Uh, we've delivered something um, called the Internet of Things Orchestrator. It's a server-based component. Yeah. And that, along with some base orchestrations, allow our customers in manufacturing distribution, agribusness, um, in industrial um, services kind of industries, asset intensive industries, give them the capabilities to interact with sensors and gateways and devices uh, in a machine to machine fashion with their JD Edwards. Yeah. Okay, uh, Lal, that's, that's pretty amazing about all the Internet of Things and all the possibilities. Uh, how does it relate uh, to the uh, cloud options? about uh, yeah, what uh, Oracle JD Edwards uh, provide to the customer. Yeah, so if cloud really um, helps revolutionize for our customers the ability both from the way they consume our applications but also how they choose to deploy them. So there are many, many options available um, in the cloud. And of course, JD Edwards has always been a cross-platform, a very open system. And we see the cloud as just another platform. And it's various layers as, as platforms. And so we're moving very aggressively to support those various layers, both public, as a public cloud, um, or as a private cloud, or some combination of the two, which is referred to as hybrid cloud. Yeah. Um, and so we're investing today to run JD Edwards and Oracle's public cloud at the infrastructure layer, so just raw compute and storage. Um, you may want to layer on top of that um, the database, Oracle's database, and have Oracle manage that for you and, and run JD Edwards there. We're going to offer that in the future as well as an option. Um, we also coexist with many of the um, SaaS applications that Oracle delivers today. So um, given those things, again, we're offering just a huge set of options for our customers um, to, uh, again, deploy and consume both JD Edwards and Oracle applications. Okay. And if you look at private clouds or public clouds, uh, about the security, a lot of Customers yeah, a lot of concern there. Obviously, you know, security is a big, a uh, big issue out there in our industry today. Just note that Oracle um, invests a lot of money to make sure that all of our applications are highly uh, secure. We have a team of folks that do nothing but try to hack JD Edwards uh, all day long internally. Uh, all right. Yes, yeah. internally, and then we of course take that feedback um, as the development team, and then we work that um, into our products to make sure that they're um, secure. But yeah, certainly on the cloud, um, some issues there. The reality is, however, Oracle um, is a very secure provider. Mm -hmm. um, we feel that you know our public cloud, even um, a very very secure environment. But we understand customers also may want to have their own private um, arrangement. Oracle does that as well as as well as many of our partners, right? Yeah. So again, a lot of choice for our customers to approach the market um, how they choose. So you provide the technology also for the customers to work on their internal. Uh, absolutely. Well. So many of our larger customers they run their own private clouds, uh, right? So they're running a, a shared service center and then projecting those uh, capacities and capabilities to the rest of their corporations. So yeah, we offer those technologies as well. So if you look about private cloud, Internet of Things, etc., if we look at days at these in uh, Eindhoven, where we are with the Dutch customers, and mm -hmm. I spoke to some uh, companies as well, and uh, the Oracle guys as well, who went to Germany this week, France, uh, UK. Um, there are also companies who say, yeah, do we need to go to those local seminars because we are companies, more, multiple European countries, uh, Internet of Things, so everything is becoming global. Right. Uh, what's what's the, still the benefit to, to 
be a, a part of these kind of days here? Yeah, we, you know, frankly, we think that all interaction is valuable, and, and the more interaction, the better. Um, so yes, attending local events is very, very important. That's where you're going to exchange uh, thoughts and ideas, um, not just with us, but locally with your peers mm -hmm. um, and, and what you're doing with the products and maybe what, what your peers are doing differently, right? And you can learn from one another. Uh, and then certainly we do have larger events. Uh, there's Open World uh, for Oracle that's done every year in San Francisco, which is a great international event. For the J.D. Edwards community, um, maybe a little smaller event, but still very J.D. Edwards focused and quite large and international is Collaborate, which we do in the spring um, mm -hmm. in Las Vegas. And I think ultimately um, here as we look at the European market, I think there are opportunities for us to work across these communities a little more and maybe and maybe have a, a J.D. Edwards event here in Europe. Um, not planned right now, but something yeah. maybe we can work out for the future because again, we believe that the more that we're all talking and interacting, um, the better off we're all going to be. It creates a better sustainable environment. It gives us all agility and frankly, we'll generate generate success uh, for the products and, uh, and for our customers as well. I would say that that conversation has to move beyond the events too. It can be an everyday occurrence. And yeah, of course, sure. yeah, we've sorry. tapped into social media to do that. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're encouraging all our customers to follow us on the social channels and be part of the conversation. And to, to uh, uh, enlarge that about enhancement requests by customers, mm -hmm. etc. Is that uh, some kind of a, a, a huge uh, knowledge base where other customers can see which enhancement has been requested? Well, there is a huge a knowledge like base. Yeah, there, there, there is a huge knowledge base. Obviously, there's the SAR system that's been around for forever, yeah. um, and there's a lot of information in there. And frankly, um, I, I don't know it would be too consumable by our customers, but what we have done is delivered some vehicles um, to take that down, boil it down to what's really important, and make that more consumable for our customers. So I'll give you two alternatives alternatives there. The first, again, is a, uh, is a modern social media platform. It's called mm -hmm. Twitter. Um, and if you follow at Oracle JD Edwards, and you follow the hashtag pound JDE ideas, yeah. you'll see what other people are submitting to us in terms of enhancement requests, okay, okay. or ideas uh, that they'd like to see in the product in the future. If you want to see specifically what we're working on and what we're considering in the near term, mm -hmm. um, then you can go to www.learnjdedwards.com and sign in to the product catalog. And that's where you'll see what my team is currently vetting, what we may be working um, with uh, focus groups on um, and and some more details around those enhancements. Okay, so customers can search for requests. Yeah, they can already. search for for futures nine dot search on release nine dot x. Yeah. <laughs> okay, pretty simple, and you'll see what are the things that we're currently considering. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, if you look at those uh, kind of possibilities for searching on requestments, etc., and enhancements, um, uh, what are the user groups uh, can help Jetty Edwards more? Uh, in the nearby future, and what are your uh, recommendations? Yeah, so it really goes back to your question j just a bit back about the importance of the local groups. And frankly, what we'd like to see the local groups do is work together and, and vet their ideas and enhancements together. Um, in fact, some of the uh, regional groups do this quite well, uh, where they have actually put in place you know, scoring systems and voting systems. And so what they bring back to us as the vendor is a very succinct list of these are the top three things that we would like to see. Mm -hmm. And again, we would like you to work on things that are more strategic. What, what is transformative to your business? Mm -hmm. Yes, we all know there are little things here and there that would make your life a little easier, um, but those are not the things that are really going to make fundamental changes um, in your business. And really, at the end of the day, if we can make fundamental changes, um, that's going to give you mm -hmm. more opportunities. Yeah, I understand. That's also the meaning of the users, of the, the systems and in the nearby years to come, of course. That's right. Yeah, we want to look down the road a good three years, right? Not do everything for the, for the current, but let's be thinking about what's going to make our businesses better, uh, you know, two, three years down the road. Yeah, for the other More ones, you strategic. Have to, for the other ones, you have the knowledge base to... Uh, that's right. Oh, that's that. right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay, uh, what, you, what we see uh, the, the last year uh, here in uh, the Benelux is that uh, customers are using uh, manufacturing and MRP, etc. Mm -hmm. And the planning memory advisor, the module was presented last year. And there were questions about, oh, we want to have that one. Um, but it was linked to a specific Oracle database. And a lot of customers don't have an Oracle database. What, what's the strategic for 
uh, because JD Atlas was always uh, independent of any platform. Mm -hmm. What's the strategic for those kind of new uh, technologies, uh, making it also independent of those platforms? One of the things you have to understand is Oracle um, invests something on the order between six to seven billion dollars U.S. per annum in R&D. Um, and Oracle's coming up with some very great advancements. Uh, one of those is uh, around the area of in-memory computing. And Oracle's approach to in-memory computing is at every layer of the technology stack. So we have in-memory technologies in our hardware level, in our systems level, our middleware, and, and certainly in our database. Mm -hmm. And so one of the jobs of my team is to not just work on J.D. Edwards natively, which you point out very accurately, has always embraced you know, cross-platform, open systems approach. Um, but it's also to leverage that that huge investment that Oracle's making beyond the native investment that J.D. Edwards makes and leverage that for the benefit and the value of our customers. So with the in-memory planning advisor, we actually tapped into massive amounts of flash cache um, as well as available RAM and, and cores that are part of the EXA platform. Um, and um, we tested on that platform. Now, that doesn't mean that there are not other um, systems out there um, that have those kinds of configurations. And in fact, in the Oracle world, there actually is a smaller box than the EXA boxes, mm -hmm. um, which is the Oracle database appliance that'll do the same thing. Oh, by the way, um, our, super, our Spark super cluster does the same thing. So you still have choice within the Oracle world um, to map to, those, uh, to that uh, application. Um, by the same token, again, we're testing on Oracle. That doesn't mean that it wouldn't work on another platform. We just haven't tested it at this point. And certified it, but customers certainly could could give that a that's, try. That's up to the customers to test yeah, that, it. Yeah, that would well uh, for something beyond what Oracle has provided me. Yes, um, you know, if the other vendors want to come in and certify um, their platforms yeah. against JD Edwards, we're more than happy to have them do that. Oh, that's good to hear. Well, thank you, Lyle, for your time. Uh, I've been questioning you. Do you have questions to a customer as well? Um, well, I don't know that I have any questions. What I have is maybe a bit of a challenge. We mentioned up front uh, about the social media. Um, and again, what we'd like to see is our customers engage with us, uh, not just at these local conferences or the large conferences we, we talked about, but engage um, with us. And, and frankly, one of the best ways to do that today is through social media. So if you could follow us at Oracle J.D. Edwards, uh, be part of the conversation there, or you can follow me personally at Lyle Ekdahl, uh, and we'd love to hear from you. Okay, uh, thank you for your time and for your uh, being here on the, those days like Oberg uh, with the customers over here. Yeah, so thanks for having the, the team and myself here um, at the OBUG uh, Update 15. And uh, we've really enjoyed our time, enjoyed our interaction uh, with the folks here. You always put on a class, class event. So we're, we're really uh, proud to be a piece of it. Okay, well, uh, on behalf of OBUG, uh, thank you for your appearance and I uh, hope to see you next year again. Yeah, thank you.